What's up guys, it's Aiden with Every Share Review and I am super excited to get into today's video. Today, to take a quick break from our current series over mistakes in kids shows, which by the way, you should definitely check out at the end of the video. Anyway, today we're gonna be mixing it up with some of the Disney shows that you forgot existed. Some shows just did bad and others were replaced so quickly that you simply forgot about them. First up is Crash and Burn Scene. Honestly, this show crashed and burned. Steen. And the theme song didn't exactly help the show out. And well, we could talk about why the show was cancelled, but the theme song pretty much says it all. Yo, I'ma let you finish, but ding dong! Who's that? It's Oregon, awesome, but awesome got a song! Uh, I'll be grounded forever! That's what friends are for! Crash and burn! Steen. Crash and burn! Steen. Crash and burn! Crash and burn. Crash and burn. What he said! And that pretty much explains why the show was cancelled midway through its second season. The show was utterly obnoxious and was literally about a kid and a puppet. And apparently the puppet was the cool one. I mean, did anyone see that going well? Who approved this pilot? If you managed to survive one episode of this nightmare of a show, you are a true hero. Number 2. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers This one I actually kind of enjoyed as a kid. In an attempt for Disney to compete with the popularity of Spongebob, Disney Channel signed on for a quirky cartoon about a bunny and a dog who get lost in a rainforest. Wow, surprise this one didn't last. The show didn't do very well. Kids didn't find it very appealing, and parents found it a little annoying. So the show was cancelled after just two seasons. This one I actually did watch, and the animation was very colorful and fun, and I was pretty sad to see this one go. Number 3. The Replacements, yet another Disney cartoon that came and went. The Replacements focused on the lives of two orphans, Riley and little brother Todd, who order new parents, a spy mother, and a daredevil father. The show was just weird and all in all not that funny, and the ratings did not compare to the other cartoons airing on Disney Channel at the time, and just like that, The Replacements was cancelled. Number 4. So Random. The uninfamous spin-off to another Disney show, Sunny with a Chance. After Demi Lovato checked into rehab, Disney was pretty much done with her. But they weren't done with the show. The solution? So random, which ended up decreasing their ratings. Thus, the show was cancelled after just one season. Pretty sure after the show has ended, there has been no reruns in the last few years, so I'm pretty sure Disney wants you to forget about this one. The show was trying too hard to be a kid's version of Saturday Night Live, and it just wasn't. Number 5. All of the little reality shows Disney tried to make happen. It did not work, no one thought they were funny in the slightest, and they were just cancelled after a handful of episodes. Then a few months later, Disney would be advertising for the next reality show that was pretty much the same thing as the previous one that was cancelled. When will Disney learn? These shows were never funny, and if kids wanted to watch a reality show, then they would watch The Kardashians or some other popular show that was on. Number 6. Kicking It Yet another Disney XD show that failed miserably. Are you guys seeing the pattern here? Cause I'm thinking Disney XD does not have the best luck with shows. Kicking It honestly started off pretty good and it definitely had an original idea. It was a unique idea for a show that no one would expect from Disney and it was a bold choice. But as the show went on, I realized that they kept reusing the same conflicts over and over again and in hindsight, this might have made for a better Disney Channel original movie because one thing Disney XD always did would have way too many TV movie special events, if you know what I'm saying, like a part one and part two special pretty much every other week for a show. Especially that show Lab Rats, they had so many part one and part two specials that it just got out of hand. By the way, Lab Rats didn't quite make the list because honestly that show was pretty good despite the moments I wanted to destroy the actors. Anyway, this show for the first few seasons was pretty good, but towards the later seasons, actors started leaving the show and the show in general just slowly unraveled into this piece of junk represented by the show's fourth season, which is, in my opinion, the worst, most depressing season of any given Disney show. And god, I wanted to reach through the TV screen and cut out Jack's hair in the last season. Number 7. I'm in the band. 
If you guys remember this show, you're an OG Disney XD fan. Honestly, I didn't even watch this show that much. It was canceled pretty quickly after just two years. And this show is genuinely so horrible. It's about this kid, Trip Campbell, who has a dream to be the lead singer in his favorite 80s rock band, Iron Weasel. When the band comes to town, he has his chance to convince the members that he should be their new lead guitarist. Somehow the plan works, and he joins a band with a bunch of, like, 50-year-old guys. It's a very weird concept for a show that primarily 10-year-olds would be watching, thus explaining the show's quick cancellation. However, there was one pretty decent episode. There was actually a crossover with The Sweet Life on Deck, and that's probably the only good episode from the whole series, so you might check that out. The whole series is currently on Watch Disney, and I would definitely recommend you guys watching that episode alone. Number 8. Zeke and Luther. This was probably the first ever show on Disney XD. I did make the mistake of rewatching this series, and oh my god, I'm not surprised that the show was canceled. For once, this is probably the only show on this list that lasted for a good length of time. The show had three seasons and a total of 78 episodes. At the time, the show seemed pretty funny, but watching it when you're older, not that good at all. The acting was very all over the place, and most of the plot involved two teenage best friends who are just obsessed with riding their skateboards. Yeah, not that funny. It was very weird, and I'm surprised this show went on for as long as it did. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're feeling sad that all these shows were cancelled, honestly, my best recommendation is for you to just watch them again. They really are not good. I'm pretty sure you're going to understand why they were cancelled pretty quickly. Anyway, that's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and check out some of our other videos like our current series over mistakes in kids shows. Also check out the latest episode of my show, Gracie 101. I would love your guys' support on that. As always, I'm Hayden and I'll see you guys next Sunday only on Every Sugar Review. Bye guys!